Hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2. This level is on the ship, and now the trick is to hit those hedgehogs <laughs> from the behind. <laughs> because uh, if you shoot them from, from, from the front, they are just going to reject it like a shield of some kind. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, how have you been? <laughs> Just got spiked, damn it. <laughs> anyway, that's how you deal with the little problem of spikes before you fail, like I did. And uh, yeah, just keep going through the level. Yeah, don't throw the boxes at their nose, they are going to reject the bloody boxes somehow. Like they got a, some kind of shield on their nose. <laughs> but their ass is open for your attack. Or you could just do this. <laughs> yep, just hide in a box. As soon as they dumbly walk towards you, they will simply die. Nice and easy way to do it. Always handy that you can hide in a box. It's completely unnecessary to kill every enemy, I just do it for the fun of it. So yeah, here's a little bonus stage. The trick is to hit, to throw the ball just right and jump just right so you can open the exit. Well, you would get a bonus level if you were playing a two player version of this game. Unfortunately, single player only gets the plain storyline. But yeah, unfortunately, I have no one to play this game with because all the people that I know are of the SNES generation, not the NES generation. And this is a tad too old school for them. So yeah, never mind. <sighs> monkeys. Monkeys throwing random stuff out of their little cranes. Hoping to hurt me with their little captain hats. There you go. And now it's time to fight what appeared to me when I was a little kid to be a dragon. And yes, indeed, it does appear to be a dragon. Yeah, the trick is to uh, avoid this fire by always remaining above him. So yeah, the beginning of this was a little bit of a blooper on my uh, behalf. But yeah, the idea is always stay one step above him, and that sorts the problem out. Then just throw it, uh, throw the box at his face as soon as he jumps. Basically, it's quite an easy one probably one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. Just as long as you know the trick to actually beat the game. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I still remember the countless times when they ended up falling off this level. And my friends always dying. <laughs> yeah. It was a bit of a pain in the ass when you don't know what to do. But once you do, pretty damn simple. There were plenty of times in my life when uh, I've played this game and I have not been hit once. It was that good. And there he goes. About bloody time. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, we got 55 r and logos. And we've got an extra hit point. Brilliant. Not that I need it, I rule at this game. <laughs> and I bloody missed the two up. I can't believe I did that. That is ridiculous. So yeah, anyway, we end up in uh, <laughs> apparently what seems to be a docks area. Ooh, a little shadow walks into a warehouse. Zipper just mumbles something, as always. <laughs> and yeah, time to investigate, I guess. This is going to be a very long, long, long cutscene. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, I wish the text would flow a bit faster. I think it could make it go faster, but you know, I always let my viewers watch the cutscenes properly so that uh, they understand the story. Because I, if you're interested in the story of this game, you don't have to, you know, look for external sources. But then again, if you want to play this game, all you have to do is get yourself a little emulator and download the ROM. At the end of the day, 
I uh, don't think anybody actually profiteers off this game anymore. It's that old, the, the hardware is defunct. So, yeah. <laughs> I'd say this is the type of game that you shouldn't feel ashamed to pirate. Especially if you owned it back in the day. And you've already bought it, paid for it, played it loads of times. This is just a nostalgia trip for me, really. And yes, I am definitely going to upgrade my uh, uploads to uh, once a week sort of thing. I've got a new uh, track in the works. It's uh, DuckTales uh, soundtrack from the last level. Not the uh, hidden castle level. No spoilers intended, but yeah, there you are. There's a hidden castle level there, if you didn't know that. But uh, yeah, this uh, new soundtrack is going to come out in two versions. Uh, a plain remastering of um, the uh, Battle with Glumgold's uh, D1000. Well, the level music from just before that, really. Not the actual boss fight, because that one wasn't a very impressive track. So, yeah. I'm going to make a one plain remastering of that tune. Uh, it's still in the works, and also another version of it in the works. I'm trying for the first time to make a hardstyle remix of a Disney video game track. So, yeah. Well, well, well. I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. And please subscribe.